started to play and we wanted to just see how it felt and it, it felt right. It was just, it took a, over a course of a week of just demoing different ideas and pieces of songs that I had accumulated over time. And uh, it was really in a very short period, within a few weeks, we already had a couple tunes and it was just, you know, an inner knowing. You just know when it's right and you know when you're supposed to do it. And uh, we just followed, listened and, but yeah, it was pretty immediately after the reunion tour that we kind of just flushed out some things and decided it was time. It seems that you're interested also about spirituality, probably. About consciousness, probably. You can tell me more for us. Sure. Um, well, I think the, the philosophy of Cynic hasn't changed very much. Um, I'm probably just a better meditator now than I was 15 years ago. <laughs> My hair is shorter and I meditate more with Chuck. And Chuck was trying to put his heart on a platter whether people realize it or not. And um, I think that that's really what people can tell when you're telling the truth. They know when it's honest and when it isn't. And that's really kind of what it's all about, I think, with music, so. Do you guys smoke weed? Well, he's the connoisseur in the band right here. And then these two guys are from Holland, so you'd think they'd be big potheads, but they're not. They're occasional smokers. And I, I smoke occasionally, too. <laughs> if you want to share, go talk to him. Hi. Uh, could you just uh, tell something about the new lineup, uh, the new guys, where are they coming from? And please tell us a little bit about uh, the old lineup, what are uh, Sean Malone and Jason Gobble are doing? Um, well, these two guys, I've known Tiemann through the internet for over 10 years now. We've been kind of through the cynic message board and whatnot, we were communicating. And um, and I, it was one of those things, actually, I, I re was referred Timon when I was looking for, we were trying to find a guitar player who could growl, you know, to do the focus songs and just stay a four piece on stage. And I was having lunch with the Odd from Epica, you know, the guitar player from Epica. And he's from Holland, obviously, and he knows Timon, and he said, you should check out Timon. And it didn't occur to me um, to, to speak to him, but um, he, he just, uh, I sent him an email, and he was ready to go. He was really, um, Timon really grew up on Cynic's music. He's kind of designed for the gig, which is great for us, you know. And um, he comes from his own project. He has an instrumental group called Exivius, and they, they've been working, and that's where Robin comes from. Him and Robin have been playing together for a few years. And um, when I needed a bass player, I trusted Timon as a really skilled musician to refer somebody, because he, he's been working with him for a long time. There's not a lot of guys that can play like Sean Malone, but he's really got it going on, so it was really, we were lucky for that. But on the record, it's, it's Malone. Oh, I'm really shame of the atheists said that he was going to do a project with you two guys. That was uh, three years ago. What happened? That was just like a couple of emails that we talked about it, but now atheists are making a new record, so I guess everyone's busy. <laughs> Maybe eventually, you know, or we'll tour together or something. Yeah. Thank you very much, Cynics. Thank you very much. Thank you.